So here's something exciting. We've just received our first uh, Epic V8 Tourer, um, a new hybrid surf ski kayak that Epic have released. Um, essentially, they're, uh, they're very stable, very user-friendly V8 with a couple of hatches fore and aft to enable people to, uh, to get out on the ocean and have adventures and go places and carry gear. Um, this is something we believe in in more ways than, uh, than just, just, just one. You know, we're often asked, especially by people who begin their paddling in skis, which is a pretty high proportion of people these days, um, but, you know, we'd really love to get out and do the sorts of things you guys do. Go out to Broughton Island, journey along a coastline, stopping and camping every 30 k's or 20 k's and enjoying a, a few days of, of adventure in the wilderness. But, but we don't want to learn how to roll. We don't want to get into a kayak that's got a cockpit. You know, we want to be able to remount really easily if something goes wrong. We're familiar with our skis. Um, and I think it really is an inhibiting thing. Um, so we welcome the idea that, uh, that people can transition almost seamlessly from something they're very familiar with, a ski, into a craft that allows them to, to carry, carry gear, journey and, and experience wild places. So give me, give me um, 90 seconds, I hope, and I'll, uh, I'll run you through a few of the features of the new V8 Tourer. Starting at the bow, it's the new um, streamlined epic bow shape that they have on their elite skis. Certainly on the elite boats, that makes them a bit more manoeuvrable and, and a little less likely to go whirling into the wave in front. There's the first of the carbon hatches sealed with an O-ring that is uh, adhered to the, uh, to the underside of the hatch and, and locked down with those cam cleats. Exactly the same hatch system as they have on their, their very successful touring sea kayak, the Epic 18X. Um, Epic's foot plate, uh, baler, little drink bottle holder, the bucket, which uh, for us is a, a universal bucket. We find it hard to recall anyone ever really having a big problem with an Epic bucket. Uh, some, some shock cord behind the cockpit, which would enable you to fit a deck bag, for example, if you wanted to have access to gear behind you whilst you're underway without having to get into the hatches. Um, the rear hatch and the cam cleats for the hatches unlock like that. When you pull the hatch off, you've got a, a sealed bulkhead, beautifully finished on the inside, little breather hole there, um, and plenty of carrying capacity, you know, probably enough carrying capacity for a couple of big backpacking rucksacks if you want to look at it in terms of being a bushwalker. The, uh, the rear hatch for the underslung rudder, if you chose to use that, um, and back here, the, the excellent Smart Track rudder, the rudder we use on our Rodax, uh, pretty much the industry standard now for uh, simple, effective um, transom mounted rudders that uh, are easily serviceable in the field. So a lot of nice little design features, like all good designs, very simple um, and beautifully finished as, as all Epic Craft are beautifully finished. The hull is instantly recognisable as a V8 hull. Um, you know, this is the ski that changed the world. It really did allow people to begin paddling surf skis who had never even considered jumping on an old tippy spec ski back in the day. Uh, and probably more than any other design has been responsible for surf ski paddling becoming a very inclusive thing. Um, there's the outlet for the underslung rudder if you chose to have it there. Um, the one difference between the V8 and this V8 Tourer, that, that, that stern is a little finer, a little more V'd, and that's obviously to account for the fact that the rudder um, isn't there all the time. Sometimes it's here and maybe needs a little more help in, in tracking. But um, plenty of volume. Um, I believe Epic have tricked up the, the volume a little to accommodate gear carriage. Um, it's 56 centimetres wide, I think, 5.5 metres long. So a really good set of numbers for an efficient craft. Um, and obviously the hull, well, we all know that's where all the magic is. So this is our demo. Um, we're gonna be putting it through the ringer over the coming days, filling it up full of gear, getting it out hopefully in some interesting conditions, making sure it handles well with, with a load in it. Um, and tracks with that rudder at the back and all the little things that you'd expect it to do. But I'll be honest, we're quite excited. This is something we definitely believe in. Um, anything that makes the thing we do, which is filling our boats up with our camping gear and heading off to places that are wild and, and, and good for the soul, 
um, and allows people to do it in a, in a simpler way is a good thing. So uh, stand by, keep an eye on us, uh, maybe check in in a couple of weeks and we'll, uh, we'll give you our verdict on the new Epic V8 Tourer.